Okay, so the other day I was at work and I walloped my elbow against the corner of something hard and it didn't really hurt the way that body parts normally hurt when you hurl them against hard objects. It was a shooty feeling, a pins and needles y feeling. It didn't hurt so much as it just felt weird, a tingly, prickly, dull kind of pain. And as you may have guessed by now, I had hit my funny bone. But what is your funny bone and why does it feel so gosh darn funny? Well, the thing is, is that your funny bone isn't actually a bone at all. I mean, obviously you have bones in your arm, most notably and mainly your humerus, which is the only bone of the upper arm, and the ulna and radius of the lower arm. But running down your arm near the ulna bone is a nerve called the ulnar nerve. Also, the ulnar nerve is also known as the musician's nerve as it controls the fine movements of the fingers. So the nerve starts at the spine or in the spine and spreads out through the shoulder and down your arm and it ends in your little finger and the finger between your middle finger and the little finger. So the fourth and fifth fingers. If we're counting your thumbs. Anyways, as the bundle of neuron axons travels down your arm, you have layers of bone and muscle that protect the nerve. But the problem is that as the ulnar nerve goes down past the elbow, it goes behind a sticky outy bit of the humerus and then through a tunnel of sorts called a cubital tunnel. And in that exact spot, the nerve is sandwiched between just the bone and the skin without much in the way of padding or protection. So when you hit your arm at just the right angle, what you're doing is squashing the nerve. And when that happens, you get that feeling, that weird mix of numbness, dull pain and tingling. And because it's the ulnar nerve causing the pain, not the bone itself, that feeling shoots down the rest of your arm where the nerve travels and the feeling can spread to your fourth and fifth finger. So the feeling you feel is basically your nerve being pinched. And now imagine that all day you kept hitting your funny bone over and over again. And that is what it feels like to have cubital tunnel syndrome. This syndrome is the second most common affliction of its type after the more famous carpal tunnel syndrome. The syndrome can develop in certain situations like if the nerve snaps back and forth as your elbow is bent and straightened and bent and straightened over and over again because sometimes the ulnar nerve does not stay in its place and it snaps back and forth over the a bony bump in your elbow as it's moved. Repeated snapping can irritate the nerve. Or it can happen if you hold your elbow in a bent position for too long because keeping the elbow bent for a long time can stretch the nerve behind the elbow and this could easily happen during sleep. And pressure being applied to the nerve can cause issues too. As I said before, the nerve has little padding over it so direct pressure like leaning the arm on an armrest can press the nerve causing the arm and the hand, especially the fourth and fifth fingers, to fall asleep. A lot of the time people with this condition will be told to just try and not put too much pressure on that nerve. For example, wearing a splint at night to keep the elbow from bending or simply not leaning on their elbow. But in more severe cases, surgery may be suggested in order to relieve the pressure on the nerve. This can involve releasing the nerve, moving the nerve to the front of the elbow and or removing a part of the bone. From the handful of times I've hit my funny bone, I'm super glad that I'm lucky enough to not have to put up with that feeling all the time, it wouldn't be very humorous. And not only are the majority of us very lucky to not have to deal with that on a daily basis, cause that will be hella challenging, but we are also very lucky to have had Brilliant sponsor this video. Brilliant are offering all of you the ability to sign up for free and 20% off their annual premium subscription, which includes the kind of challenges you want to have in your life. Every day, Brilliant publishes daily challenges that provide a quick and fascinating view into math, logic, science, engineering, or computer science. As an example, in the past month, tens of thousands of people have used probability to decide when to stop gambling, determined whether they'd weigh more in Helsinki versus in Mexico City, and calculated the chance for rain by watching the clouds. And if you want to learn on the go, you can now take courses offline with Brilliant's iOS and Android apps to spend uninterrupted time learning. So to support the channel and to get unlimited access to Brilliant's courses and daily challenges, Head over to brilliant.org for slash science with Katie to get 20% off their annual premium subscription. So go check it out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. A big thank you to my patrons on Patreon and thank you for watching. Bye.